Major Ripple XRP update. Two huge rulings. What is about to happen with XRP and Ripple? Settlement? The SEC is hiding big notes and emails from the public. What's going to happen before the next trial? Are they going to do a settlement or will the SEC accept the full loss? In today's video, we will discuss the latest news about XRP versus Ripple and the sudden surge of XRP in the market. So, there are some major things happening regarding the XRP versus Ripple case. People are really focusing on what's going to happen and who will win. Although it seems that Ripple has already won the case, there are some other concerns too. On one hand, there is hot news that a settlement between Ripple and the SEC a few months back is going to meet the end-to-end -end of the case. On the other hand, some experts say it cannot happen as Ripple will be seen as a non-secure platform. On the other side, the war situation is making crypto the talk of the town, as if it's the crypto war and not the war between the countries. Instead of using other banking systems like PayPal, people are rushing to use cryptocurrencies due to a lot of features provided by this fiat currency. So, let's have a look at the present situation. So, on March 12th, Brad Garlington tweeted that, If you weren't paying attention then, you should be now. Huge win for Ripple today. So what happened on the trial? Furthermore, Stuart Adorati tweeted, and Brad retweeted his tweet that, Today's order makes it clear there's a serious question whether the SEC ever provided Ripple with fair notice that its distributions of XRP since 2013 would ever be prohibited under the securities law. Recently, a few months ago, a secret meeting was held between CEO Ripple and SEC Commissioner. Their conversation and notes of the meeting were kept hidden. John Dean made a prediction about what will happen in the trial. Brad Garlington recently had an interview on Fox Business where he discussed the possibilities of the Ripple versus SEC case and its relevance to the current war between Russia and Ukraine. He clarified a lot of things on the case between SEC and Ripple. He also made a shocking comment on Ethereum. Let's talk about all of these hot topics. So let's talk about what Brad Garlinghouse was talking about in Fox Business with Liz Clayman and Charles Gasparino. They were discussing things about the SEC case and what Elizabeth Warren was talking about. So since the war started, the money transactions by cryptocurrency have spiked in Russia and Ukraine. The US and many other countries who want to put sanctions on Russia don't want Russia to benefit from using crypto and avoid sanctions. So Brad Garlinghouse said that people are mistreating cryptocurrencies because they have no knowledge of how it works. Just like Elizabeth Warren is saying things without having knowledge of working on cryptocurrencies. He further discussed how other countries can work with the U.S. to impose sanctions on Russia. Furthermore, he discussed the choke-off points. He explained about Ripple XRP that Ripple has a product of the cross-border payment system using XRP as a settlement token. But more specifically, he was talking about working with the U.S. government and the SEC regarding the choking-off point. And if you have heard, Gary Gensler was talking about exchanges, which are basically the off and on ramps in crypto world. Furthermore, he said that Elizabeth Warren is putting blanket bans on cryptocurrencies, which is sort of unfair. Also, if Russia wants to avoid those sanctions, then it can use global payment systems like PayPal and others. Why do they want to sue crypto for that? You know there is a lot of money laundering using fiat currency for their money transactions and becoming bad actors. They are using this currency because they find it so easy to do so. So Brad Garlinghouse discussed various things regarding cryptocurrency and he also pointed out to Ethereum that if they go against XRP then they will have to go against Ethereum too as it also has the centralized blockchain system. Ethereum has blockchain technology that is distributed in nature and that's what makes Ethereum secure. But there are a lot of differences in these two currencies regarding speed and transactions. Only the security system of them is somewhat matching. 
He had a big smile on his face, but then he said that he believes that Ethereum is a currency, and he believes that XRP is a currency. But guys, if you're really following this case from the start, then you know that Ethereum is in big trouble because they did have an ICO and they did in fact issue all kinds of securities. So this was about Brad explaining about the XRP and how it works and people should understand how it works before they can impose anything on them. Now coming towards the settlement issue between SEC and Ripple, which is the hot topic these days. Now Jeremy brought up the topic about the settlement and said that there was about one hour of talk between the CEO Brad and the SEC commissioner. And this settlement talk happened a few months ago. Now there is talk on Twitter about when the settlement will happen. And they are predicting that it can be around April and May. So the settlement will happen in this timeline if there was one. Because if it happens, it means that Brad will have to accept that XRP is a non-security currency asset. So we will now discuss John Dean's prediction in these two rulings regarding the case. He said that I am predicting that Judge Netburn is going to deny the SEC's motion for reconsideration, which means that those emails regarding him in speech will have to be turned over. Furthermore, Easterbrook notes will also have to be turned over. Both of these scenarios are going to favor Ripple. Also, I heard on Twitter that Judge Netburn is actually playing a central role in mediating a settlement talk between the two as he has seen all those documents in private. Ripple has no access to those, but Judge Netburn has access to them. Now coming towards the future of XRP and the current soar of XRP in the market. Since the war has started and the SEC versus Ripple case has progressed, a lot of things have changed, not for crypto, but for XRP too. Currently, XRP has a $0.799 price in the market, which is 7% up in the past week. XRP is moving towards a bullish point in the market. It has reached a market cap of $38 billion. In this time of extreme fear for the crypto market, some of the currencies are doing great. As you know, since the war started, Russia and Ukraine are moving towards using crypto rapidly. Russia was already the top third country to use crypto even before the war. Many countries have stopped business with Russia and they're putting a lot of sanctions on them. To avoid these sanctions, Russia needs a secure and safe way of money transactions. Crypto is the best choice. And among all of these crypto, XRP is the best choice due to many reasons. First of all, its speed of transaction is great. Secondly, you can have a lot of transactions per second. So who will use Bitcoin or any other currency when you have the one with all desired features? Therefore, it was recorded that people are using crypto in these two countries more than ever before. You know, Ukraine has asked crypto authorities to block the addresses of Russian users, but it is not that easy at all. Cryptocurrency has no central system controlling it, and no one can stop anyone from using it. So, some people are calling it a crypto war and not a war between the countries. Now talking about the future of XRP. Many of the experts are making predictions on it. Let's talk about them one by one. According to price prediction, the XRP price would be a maximum of $4 in 2025, and in 2030, it will be about $25. According to CoinGate, XRP will reach $1 in the first month of April. Similarly, many other experts have predicted that if XRP surpasses the bullish point of $1, then no one can stop it from growing. We hope that our video was helpful for you regarding your cryptocurrency concerns and questions. Have you already invested in XRP or not? Or are you still waiting for the XRP to reach $1? Also, tell us what you think regarding the case between Ripple and SEC and its future. Also, tell us what you want to see next. Don't forget to hit the bell icon. See you in the next video.